What's up, Richcast? This is Isabel with your monthly Richers recap. In this video series, we keep you in the know. In the month of September, among other orders of business, your city council issued five proclamations proclaiming Hunger Action Month, National Patriotism Week, honoring PACT, honoring the many service clubs in our community, and finally, one in honor of Constitution Week. Remember, you can check out these city proclamations and any past meeting moments on the City of Richcrest YouTube channel. From addressing your report and issue tickets to slurring, striping, pothole patching, and replacing some old faded overhead street signs, your public works team has had a busy month. Look back over our profiles for a video tour of the new striping machine. This is an important tool that will allow our guys to get work done in-house, saving the city money and time. I had the chance to sit down with the Assistant City Manager, Public Works Director Travis Reed, as well as Chief Mario Issit to find out more how the current Measure V supports their departments. Those quick videos give a good overview of the impact that Measure V revenue currently has in funding our city streets and police department. Speaking of police, September was once again a busy month. Officer Kuros took us on a ride along and spoke candidly about his role in working as an officer in Ridgecrest. We also saw our RPD completing active parole, probation, and post-release checks. This important follow-up establishes the expectations of accountability and compliance in Ridgecrest. Look back at the RPD socials for the full press release. Check-ins can often reveal new violations, and this round was eye-opening. Parks and Rec shared an update on Leroy Jackson Sports Complex. Those tennis courts are getting close to completion every day. New windscreens are on order and the courts will be ready very soon. The city hosted a quick demolition party to bid farewell to the old penny pool that served our community so well for so many years. While bittersweet, the air was buzzing with excitement over the start of the Sergeant Penny Aquatic Center. Our community decided it was important to invest in Ridgecrest and in making progress toward being the best we can be. This pool project is proof of that. You can catch up on the timeline of that project and find any updates at ridgecrest-ca.gov forward slash pool. Coming up in October is a full month of activities you won't want to miss. Your RPD officers are planning to have their morning coffee at McDonald's this Wednesday morning, October 2nd from 7 to 8.30 and invite you to stop in and visit for a moment to start your day. They will have plenty of meet and greet options throughout the month as the new chief really wants to bring back more of that relationship with the community. On October 5th, our friends at the California Welcome Center will be hosting their first annual Desert Classic Car Show at Leor Jackson Park and the Desert Empire Fair is the weekend of the 20th through the 22nd. Parks and Rec have been busy working on their annual trunk or treat, which will be October 25th. They have some fun surprises in store for this year. They also still have a few spaces for trunks to join. If you'd like to learn more, go to ridgecrest-ca.gov forward slash trunk or treat. On October 26th, join your community at Blues on Balsam. It's a night on Balsam with a little festive twist, featuring mariachis, a zombie costume contest, and more. More at ridgecrest-ca.gov forward slash events or follow the Facebook event page. Thank you again for tuning into this Ridgecrest recap. See you next month. This is Isabel keeping you in the know.